Darren Bell, and I'm going to show you really quick how to how to add uh, a discussion board, like a weekly journal, a weekly journal type option to Canvas. So uh, what you can do, I do this through the discussion board is what I do. Okay, so um, I have, like for example, that here's one that I have the uh, weekly journals added into, right? So I have my journal for every week that I have students come and um, complete and send in to me answering some questions, right? So for example, here's what it kind of looks like in there. So this is basically, the, these are the questions that I have them answer. And then to answer, what they have to do is they have to go into the reply here and they can copy and paste the questions below and answer them or they can just kind of kind of free form it, just answer it in a paragraph, whatever works, and then they uh, submit that discussion. What I like, since it's more of a personal journal, what I like to do is I like to set them up as groups and I'll set them up as a group of one, right? So each student is in, a, in their own group. And what that does is it doesn't allow any of the other students to read their journal. It only allows me to read their journal and then of course they can go in and look at their journal and see what they posted as well. So to do this, you have to uh, set up each of the journals that you're gonna do. So I have 10 journals. I don't do a journal for the finals week. I just have 10 of them and I set them up there. And then, uh, so let's look into this journal two and edit, right? And so, as you're, so as you're creating the journals, you put the content there, you gotta put a title, the content, and then you have to click graded, right? If you wanna do this for points. And then you click, this is a group discussion. And what you want to do is you want to go find your group set. A group set is a, a set of a bunch of different groups, right? So I have a group for each student. And then the weekly journal is the group set that contains all of those different groups. So you want to set that to there. Um, uh, okay. And then, then points, of course. And then if you want to do a due date, you're going to want to do that as well. I have this in its own specific group assignment group that way I can kind of track the percentage and students can track how much how many of the journals they got and for what percent as a portion of their total grade so let's look back and sh I'll show you how to set up the group so you can plug it in here so you got to go to people and then once you go to people you're gonna go in here and, and you can add a new group set so you can see in here I actually have two different groups I have project groups and weekly journal so my weekly journal group is the, are the groups that I use for the, the journal discussion, for um, the weekly journal in the discussion group. If you want to add one, if you don't have one in here, if you want to add another one, then you can click group set. And uh, as, you, as you click group set, what you can do is you can uh, go in here. If you know how many students are in your class, you can go ahead and name the group set. Uh, and then uh, like for example, I can do like new uh, journal entry, something like that. Um, I'm not going to allow self-assign, so you can do that if you want them to kind of form their own groups, but this is one that I form for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split students into however many groups. And if you put the groups as the number of students in your course, what that will do is that will automatically divide them out one in a group. So that's what you want if you can do it this way. That's great. If not, you can manually assign them as well, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, uh, you don't have to worry about a group leader or I'll create groups automatically. You just go ahead and do that, and uh, away they go, right? So uh, if I say, for example, uh, I'm going to split them into however many groups, um, and then I'll just go ahead and click Save, and then it'll, boom, it'll create the groups for me. Okay, so I'm going to cancel this. And then I'll go in and show you what my weekly journals group looks like, right? So here's all my uh, groups. These are the actual groups, right? And there's one student, you can kind of see here. These are the ones at the end here that I had to make manually. And all the other ones are ones that the group set option made for me uh, automatically. So all these students added after the beginning of the, when I first set this up at the beginning of the term, right? So what this is is, uh, if you need to add a group um, manually, you go here and you do add the group, right? You click on that plus group button. You go ahead and um, 
give it a name like weekly journal 28 or whatever whatever number you're on or what right so um, and then uh, 29 or whatever and then what you have to do it doesn't let you make groups of one in this option it, it only makes you group lets you make groups of two go ahead and do that and make a group of two and then what you do is you'll see it it'll be zero out of two down here you click your student that's not in a group and you drag them down into the group and then they'll it'll be they'll be the only one in the group right as long as you don't uh, make a mistake and actually add someone else to the group they will be by themselves in the group so once this is set up right the weekly journal the connection is you've got to go and you've got to make sure all your discussions all your weekly journal discussions have that uh, if it looks like this that's good all those blue right here this is all my different uh, groups that are doing this journal right groups of one student at a at per group right and then um, you guys just make sure this is set right you got the right group the weekly journal group is set in here as the discussion group and then it'll work great and you can go for it and um, hopefully this helps if you have any questions feel free to contact me and I'll help you out thanks bye